Okay, I'm going to talk about the different sleep training methods, but before I do that, I wanna preface this with, not everyone is going to have to sleep train. Not everyone's gonna have to sleep train. And honestly, Baby Settler, our whole mission is built on setting you up to have your baby naturally extend their nighttime sleep without having to sleep train. So if you're watching this video and you're still pregnant, I highly recommend you at least get our book, Babies Made Simple, um, or and or take our online course, Babies Made Simple, where we really outline from day one what you can do to set your baby up to naturally extend their nighttime sleep without sleep training. You can avoid all of these steps. You can avoid the, the options here that I'm about to lay out for sleep training. But the reality is, is that a lot of parents don't get this information during pregnancy and they aren't able to implement these steps from day one. And so what are your options when you get to that point, when you have a baby who is not sleeping? And we know that sleep is so important for the family, for mom's mental health, um, the family unit, the baby. Sleep is important. I have a whole nother video on, on that and why sleep is important. But this video is going to specifically talk to you about if you get to the point where you are at the point where you are choosing to sleep train, what exactly are your options? What options are out there? Okay, so the first method is the cry it out method or the extinct, extinction method. And that is the most severe method of sleep training. I personally do not recommend that. Um, I'm not judging a parent that chooses that, um, but I would say that it is, it's pretty intense. Um, I would absolutely not recommend it prior to four to five months. Um, and if you are choosing that, you have to first ensure that feeding is not the reason your baby is not sleeping because I just, I wouldn't feel good about using that method. Really, it doesn't fit my parenting style in general, but looking at the research and just kind of looking at the key things that we know do affect sleep, if you're going to use the cry it out method, then I wanna make sure that you've addressed the feeding component um, before you implement that because I would say that a lot of times, um, if you address the feeding component, then you probably wouldn't even have to use the cry it out method. So um, that's the most severe one. And basically that is when you go put your baby in their sleep space, you tell them good night and you see them in the morning. And they basically cry until they fall asleep. Um, there's really no soothing or anything. You're just kind of ripping the bandaid off, putting the baby in there and letting them figure it out. Okay, the next kind of extreme I would say is, the gentle sleep training or the no tears approach, um, that that a lot of times ultimately doesn't work. Um, and I would argue that it actually prolongs the sleep training process because you're really not, you're still your baby's self-soothing anchor when you use an approach like that. So you're, you're really not allowing your baby to have any space to learn how to self-soothe. Um, and so I just don't feel like that is the most effective way. However, your parenting style or, you know, the way that you, the choices that you make for your child, maybe that is what feels the best to you. And I'm not saying that that's wrong, but if you choose that style, just know that you're, you're in it for the long haul. Like this is not going to, and by, us, by long haul, I mean, your baby could be a toddler before they're sleeping through the night. So I think you have to look at way pros versus cons and kind of look at your family unit, your mental health, your baby, is your baby really fussy and clingy and crying all the time? Like, are they a happy baby? Um, and if you're having a lot of issues in that area, then, you know, sleep is, it sleep affects all of these things. So the gentle, with the gentle sleep training, basically anytime your baby cries, you are in there, you're responsible for soothing. You're not really giving your baby the space to self-soothe. Okay. The next method I want to talk about is the chair method or the gradual withdrawal method. So this is when you essentially, you're, you're visible to your baby as they are putting themselves to sleep. So um, I would say it is, it's not a drastic one way or the other, but I do feel like, you know, I have four children. Um, I can tell you that if for me and my parenting style, for my child to be upset and seeing me sit there and not respond to them and not actually be present and able to 
Um, I'm, I'm still in the room sitting in the chair, but I'm not responding to my child. That doesn't feel intuitive to me. However, I'm not saying that it's wrong. Um, but with the chair method or the gradual withdrawal, essentially you're moving yourself farther and farther away from their sleep space as the nights go on. And the hope is that they begin to put themselves to sleep without having you be right next to them. And eventually you're ending up outside of the room or they're able to put themselves to sleep. And when they wake up in the middle of the night, um, they're able to put themselves back to sleep. So that's another, I would say moderate method for sleep training. Okay, the next, the last method I wanna talk about is the Ferber method or the progressive waiting method. This method has been highly successful with the majority of babies that I have worked with. Inside our Babies Made Simple course, we do have what we call the modified delay, the wing feeds method, and the delay method that kind of map out um, your strategy to utilizing a type of Ferber method. If your baby, if you're coming to us late and we're not really helping teach you this, helping teach this foundation um, early on and you have started doing things like co-sleeping or um, always nursing to sleep or giving a bottle to sleep or a ba your baby has been sleeping in a dock -a tot or a snoo or something like that and they have had some external um, sleep props that have helped them get to sleep and they're older than four months old, then in those scenarios, sometimes you do have to use a sleep training um, method to get your baby to learn how to self-soothe. So again, going back to the start of the video, I would argue that we can bypass all of this stuff if we really have a good um, strategy from the beginning and that looks like getting efficient, effective feeds, managing wake windows to prevent overstimulation, and then setting your baby up to naturally extend their nighttime sleep um, using a routine. So that's, if you can, if you're seeing this video during pregnancy, I'm telling you, pour in your energy, your mental energy, um, and learn that stuff now. But if you're not, if your baby is older than four months old and you are looking for a strategy to really help you get that extended nighttime sleep, um, in conjunction with something like the Ferber method, which you really need a strategy, you need to have a detailed strategy of how you're gonna use that. Plus you need to look at the holistic picture and that includes feeding. So taking feeding, looking at the details of that and what that picture looks like in conjunction with um, something kind of like the Ferber method, which again, we have a specific one inside Baby Settler. It's called the Wean Feeds method or the Delay method that we kind of really talk you through that is gonna be really highly successful in helping you get your baby to extend their nighttime sleep. So if you have any questions about that, leave them in the con comments. Um, but I hope that that was helpful to you. There's a lot of information out there. There's a ton of experts and influencers that are trying to help you with baby sleep. And at the end of the day, you need to choose what is best for you and your family. Um, but I would argue that you can bypass all of this if you just start early on. So if you're seeing this during pregnancy, don't delay, learn about sleep and feeding and that connection early on. So you don't even, you don't even need these methods.